What's going on guys? Today's video is about things Nigerians abroad don't tell anyone. So it's generally about living abroad, the kind of life we Nigerians live abroad. And we know that Nigerians in Nigeria don't actually know the true life their fellow Nigerians abroad are faced with daily, wherever they live. So they only see the flashy side of things. They see them enjoying, see them driving big cars if they return back for Xmas and all that. They don't actually know the kind of life that they are faced abroad where they reside. Nigerians have this perception that life is all rosy if you travel abroad. And if you are living abroad, possibly on the streets you are picking dollars and pounds and euros. But it's not like that. So in this video, I want to outline a few things that those in Nigeria should know about life abroad and make a good decision if they really want to come and face that kind of life. Because I know some people right now are planning to sell off their properties, close their businesses, or even resign from their eight to six job because they want to travel abroad. They want to travel to Canada. They want to travel to the US. Oh, the US is out of it for now. Travel to Australia and other European countries. I've seen some videos already on this topic. I just want to contribute to what others have said before. So let's dive into the video. And don't forget, if this is your first time of seeing my channel, thanks for stopping by. If you have been here before, you are also welcome. If you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification and also share our videos with your friends and family. So the first thing you need to know is that if you have been discussing with a friend or a family, a relative of yours, that you want to join him or her abroad, the person might say, okay, come and you sell off your things, buy plane ticket and, you know, take the flight to the destination of your choice. But have something at the back of your mind that you may be abandoned at the airport as soon as your plane or your flight lands. This thing happened last year, as in the recent one I can remember happened last year. A family, I think, from the Yoruba part of Nigeria sold off their things, resigned their good paying jobs, packed all their things with their children and flew to London. Getting to Gatwick Airport, the person that was supposed to wait for them switched off his phone. It happens all the time. Your biological brother or sister may even do it to you. So you have to have this at the back of your mind. If you are imagining the kind of life that people live abroad, I will tell you why these things happen in a second. So the second thing I need you to understand is document is very important. Living abroad is not like living in Nigeria because in Nigeria you can do anything you want. You can move around, you can move from Sokoto to Jos, you can move from Imo State to Enugu State and nobody will ask you where is your ID card. But here, anything you're doing has to go with your document. If you go to the bank, you drop your document. Anywhere you go, any office that you enter, you must present your document. If you don't have document abroad, it's a huge setback in any country, in Europe, in America. There are so many things, so many opportunities that will be coming your way that you cannot harness. Most times you can't even move around freely because you'll be scared of the cops coming along, stopping you, searching you, you know, controlling you, asking you questions. You don't have means of identification. Even if you have your Nigerian passport with you, you'll be so scared to present your Nigerian passport because you don't know the next thing that might happen. So document is very important if you are living abroad. So if you are planning to come abroad, if you're planning to relocate abroad from Nigeria, you must know that document is something that is very vital. In fact, it's the most important thing if you are living abroad. Without document, you cannot work. Without document, you can't even rent an accommodation. You can't rent an apartment. Without document, you can't go to the bank. Without document, you can't have a bank account. These things are the things that people abroad are faced with and you must tread carefully before you assist someone who is with no document abroad. I made mention that your relative or your friend may even abandon you at the airport. One is that you don't know the kind of accommodation that person has. You don't know the kind of job that person is doing. So if you see them come home, driving big cars, living flashy life, wearing blink blink and all that, 
maybe this man has been saving or the woman has been saving for years before returning home that year you met him or you saw him or you have been communicating through social media till he returned home for maybe any festive celebration or just to see his people and you see him driving this car you were like man there is so much enjoyment out there you don't know what that person is seeing you don't know if he's living in a room in an apartment you don't know if that man is walking or is begging on the street just not to spoil your day he will say okay come you find your way and start coming he can't be able to accommodate you grown-ups consume a lot and you have needs and a grown-up man cannot go into the bedroom to ease himself and you say don't flush the toilet a grown-up man will not be hungry and want to go and take some food from the kitchen and you say don't don't eat my food it's not possible so to avoid all that and to keep the relationship that is existing between the two of you the best thing is to tell you plainly to stay in nigeria or if you insist on coming he will allow you to come and abandon you at the airport for you to find your way that's that's how it is please if you find value in what i'm saying help us by smashing that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so the next thing i want to talk about is taxes abroad if you're living abroad you know what i'm saying that they don't joke with their taxes anything you're doing you must pay tax if you buy a loaf of bread there is tax attached to it it's not like nigeria where most people don't pay tax here anything you do you must pay tax you go and buy a shirt you pay tax so that's how it is if you're making more that means you're going to pay more tax if you're making less your tax will be low but you must plan your life according to what you're earning you know there is this comparison back home that this person is doing well the other one is not doing well this person left nigeria five years ago he has not done anything why this one that left six months ago has built mansions and bought estates and all that you don't know what that person does mr a might be working why mr b is into illegal activities so that one that is into illegal activities will be doing more things because that is illegal money doesn't even come with any tax but this one that is legal just working eight to six paying his taxes and living according to his earnings why someone who is an internet fraudster or a drug peddler is living a lavish life so that's the thing i want people to understand that there is no point comparing two people because you don't know what both of them are doing wherever they are at the end of the month if you earn your wage you have bills to pay lots of bills you pay water bill you pay light bill you know they tell you where you are they don't take light there is constant water there is this that those things come with huge price you pay for them they are not free they are being provided by the government and you pay them for those services you pay for your internet your wi-fi your car you buy bus uh, ticket you buy train ticket and all that so there are lots of bills that nigerians pay abroad that people don't understand even people at home you need to settle them you must send something to them so that they can feel comfortable too so all these things are pressure that is being mounted on nigerians living abroad we know how the economy of our country is that's the kind of life people abroad live if you're living abroad you may not have savings to conclude this video if you're abroad and you're with your family your wife and kids maybe one relation one your mother or your father you will understand what i'm saying life will not be easy for you for instance if it's only the wife or the husband that is working my brother what those people are seeing you may not understand this kind of thing is better experienced than told if you are with your family abroad and it's one person from the couple that is working it's very difficult ask those that live in america they will tell you some people work two three jobs just to be able to pay their rent and pay the necessary bills sometimes husband and wife don't see eye to eye all through the week sometimes the kids don't see their dad or don't see their mom because before the mother comes back from work they must have slept or before their dad comes back from work they must have slept because if you finish from this job you need to jump over to the other one so that you can be able to make ends meet at the end of the month that's how it is so it's not always rosy for those living abroad forget about the flashy things that you see on the surface 
If you ask them closely, those that are close to you, your friends, your relatives, ask them closely, guy, how is he over there? Ask them, sister, how is it over there? I want to know. So when you ask these questions, calmly, respectfully, they will tell you the truth. They will open up for you to see the kind of life they are being faced with on a daily basis. So it's not about the kind of cars you see them drive, the houses that they live, or what they show you on social media. Sometimes people go to good places to snap pictures just to post on social media. So you need to know the kind of life that Nigerians, Africans, diasporans face wherever they live. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave anything you feel in the comment section. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and love.